But the weird thing, as soon as you get insurance, as soon as you sign a paper, you think to yourself, geez, I hope somebody steals all my stuff soon. <laughs> or otherwise, it's a jip. So, TV or not TV, that is the question. Yeah, I love game shows, boy. I saw this game show last week, the one million dollar chance of a lifetime. You can win a million dollars on that show, on a single word. Word could be like cucumber. You guess it, you win a million dollars. But if you lose, they give you the home game. <laughs> like you're gonna wanna play the home game at that point. You know? <laughs> Just assemble your undernourished family around your cramped, squalid tenement and relive that magic moment dad blew a million bucks. <laughs> The neighbor's walking by and go, hey, Fred, do you work cucumber me anything to you? It's not a dating game. You ever watch that show, The Dating Game? That's a weird show there, boy. The prize on that show is a human being. It's like, about cheap. They give you another contestant on that show. They always do the same thing. They get a beautiful girl, a gorgeous girl, match her up with three geeks. Last week they had a guy I was crazy, nutcase, loony bin guy, wing nut, bachelor number two. So the girl's asking him questions. You know how they make the girls ask those embarrassing questions, laced with sexual innuendo. You know? So the girl goes, bachelor number two, if I were a popsicle, what would you do to me? And so the guy goes, well, if you're a popsicle, well, uh, first of all, I guess I'd uh, take your wrapper off. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and then I'd uh, grab a hold of your uh, sticks. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then I'd uh, press you against the counter so you're broken too. <laughs> uh, put happy in the freezer till later. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I myself am uh, going to get married. I'm living with a girl, and uh, she wants to get married. Uh, she keeps dropping hints all the time, dropping hints, you know? Last week, she got a one-year subscription to Bride Magazine. <laughs> I renewed it for another five years. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm no prize or anything like that. I'm no prize, you know? I'm a pretty lazy guy. I just hang around on my couch, watch TV. That's all I do, you know? Lazy. I get hit by a truck tomorrow. A big truck could hit me. Paralyze me from the neck down. Wouldn't affect my lifestyle a bit. <laughs> but I love TV. Boy, I saw this commercial the other day for cat food. Said at the end of it says, all natural food for your cat. All natural food. But cat food's made out of horse meat. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it works in nature. The cat right above the horse in a food chain. Matter of fact, every time my kid gets a little cooped up in the apartment, I, I take him down to the racetrack, let him stock some prey down there, you know? So, <laughs> so cute when he comes trotting back with a stallion hanging out of his mouth, you know? Like... <laughs> oh, but I have a cat. I, I'm trying to buy a dog now. I went to this dog store, and... Uh, I tell you, boy, typical salesman in this dog store wanted to sell me the most expensive dog in the store, you know? Wanted to sell me a $600 dog. Pitbull. $600. I was looking for a cheap dog, you know? I, I just wanted a discount dog, you know? That's why. Just something off the rack for me, you know? Just, listen, show me your bin of dogs, I said to the guy. No, this guy wants to sell me the pit bull. He says, this pit bull will protect your valuables. <laughs> and I don't have anything that valuable, you know. I mean, I buy the pit bull, the most valuable thing I'd own. <laughs> Be the pit bull, eh? That's a bad dog to buy anyway, because why you buy a dog so you can order them around? You know, you can't order a pit bull around. You can't say, okay, pit bull, run into the bedroom, fetch my slippers. Go on, fetch my slippers. No, pit bull go. I could kill you, buddy. I'm a pit bull. Don't you read the papers? What the hell? That's... Yeah, I got a wiener duck. Wiener duck can't rip your throat out, you know. 
Unless you're lying down, you know. <laughs> lying down sleeping, maybe then the wiener dog sneak up, start nibbling at your throat. Huh? Maybe by daybreak, he's got a hold of a vein. He's pulling out a vein here. Huh? Wake up, you go, oh, get away from me, you wiener dog. What do you think you are, a pit bull or something? Get my vein back there. Give you a hickey. That's the worst a wiener dog could do. <laughs> you ever get a present for your dog? My grandmother sent my dog a sweater. Oh, what a waste of wool that is there. What a sweater for a dog. I don't want to put it on a dog. It just humiliates the dog, you know. And what happens if the dog gets lost? He's wearing a sweater. Uh, how long is he going to survive in the alleyways with that, huh? You know <laughs> Them's mean streets if you're a wiener dog in a cardigan, you know? You, know, you guys have been great. Thanks a lot.